Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So today I want to share with you a quick little tutorial on how to do the freeze frame effect. Now you're going to need an editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what I'm using and also Photoshop. Now to do this effect, you want to use a tripod. You want to make sure that your camera isn't moving at all. And you can use pretty much any camera. You can use a point and shoot camera. You can use a GoPro, which that's what I'm using for this tutorial. And the best settings to use on your camera is to shoot at a high resolution and as well as a high frame rate. I'd recommend 60 frames per second. If you have a camera that can do 4K, shoot in 4K. I'm using the GoPro Hero 5 Black, so I actually shot in 2.7K, 60 frames per second, and I was able to get good results with that. So enough of that, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, so here we go. I got Adobe Premiere Pro here, and this is the clip I'm gonna be working with. This was actually shot with the GoPro Hero 5, and I was using 2.7K mode, at 60 frames per second. Like I mentioned earlier, you wanna have a high frame rate so that you don't get that much motion blur in your shot. It's just gonna make things a lot easier. So what I wanna do here is just kinda of go to the end of the clip and go about right here. And what I wanna do is just take a screenshot and I'm gonna save it as a PNG. And what I'm gonna do now is go to Photoshop and open that image. So we're actually going to select this tool here. It's the quick selection tool and I'm just going to go to the plus and then I'm going to add, I'm just going to make the brush really big and I'm going to select the whole image. Good. Now what I'm going to do is go to the minus and make the diameter of the selection tool a lot smaller so it kind of fits in my body and I actually need to just fix this here. All right, go to minus and kind of zoom in here. And basically what I want to do is just cut myself out. So uh, that's all I'm doing here is trying to get as precise as possible. So after I'm done selecting my body only, I'm going to cut the rest out, like the background. So this process does take a while, but you kind of want to be as accurate as possible. When I'm further away, you don't need to be too accurate because it's a little harder to see. And what I found that works for me at least, and maybe you don't want to do it this way, but what I found was it's it's cool to also select the shadows. So you could try that out however you want. Uh, so I'm just want to get kind of like a base kind of selection here, and then I'm going to fine tune it. Uh, now to fine tune this, I'm going to make the brush a little smaller. Go to about 14 for now and uh, kind of just go around. And like I said, I want to get these shadows in here. And I don't know if I really explained what this tool does, but you kind of want to interchange between the plus and the negative. So the negative space you'll be doing for the inside or what you're trying to cut out basically. So if I negative this, it'll open it up. But then if I plus it from the outside, it'll close it up. So that's kind of uh, an explanation of what that is. All right, not bad. Let me zoom out so you get an idea here. So what you want to do next is uh, click Control X, and it's going to cut out the background. So I, you know, you got my shadow here, you got the skateboard, my whole body. Now what you want to do is is save this file. So I'm going to go to Save As, uh, make sure it's a PNG, and then I just created another folder called Fix, and I'm just going to do first and same title, and then save it. And then what we want to do is go back to Premiere and import that image back in. And you wanna make sure that you have that uh, cursor here, this uh, timeline selection, on the same exact spot where you took your screenshot. So I'm gonna put this image here and then cut it to the point where I show up and kind of overlap it. So kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Let's play it back. So bam, that's all there is to it. All right, so I finished it up. I got one, two, three, four of me. Actually, five. Let's play it back so you can check it out. Bam, 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 bam. Cool. So I kind of showed you this in the last setup, but basically what you want to do is make sure that your images are overlaid and on top of each other. And then, so this is the fourth one. This is the one all the way in the back. You can see me disappearing. And I'm cutting it as soon as I cross it. And then the same thing with the next one this guy right here as soon as I cross it I cut it and then same thing with this this guy as soon as it crosses I'm chopping it up and then just continue it on 
And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You just need to be kind of patient. Uh, but that's it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in supporting what I'm doing here on my YouTube channel, I've got a link down in the description. It's a way you can support me for free. So definitely check that out. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.